Today we're going to talk about how to use the Chromebooks in an offline situation. All of the Chromebooks will work offline with any Google Doc. That's Docs, Sheets, Slides, Drawing. All of those work offline automatically with Google Chromebooks. And once you're connected to the internet again, it will sync to the cloud so it'll act just like normal. Um, but the trick comes in when we're trying to do PDFs or we're trying to do videos. So let me walk you through that. Now, if I'm in an, trying to plan for an e-learning lesson, a lesson where you know the students will be at home doing work uh, because of a storm or whatever, I am, as a teacher, I'm going to say, go into your Google Classroom, create a new assignment. Now, we're going to title this whatever you want. Let's call it e-learning for now. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to select an assignment that I've already created. And we're going to see this character content. That's what I want. So I've added my character content assignment, uh, but here I have to make sure that I change this from students can view to make a copy for each student. Because if I leave it as students can view, then they can view it while they have the internet. But once the internet goes away, they don't have access anymore. So we need to make a copy so that each student has their own copy. They can only download offline or work offline on things that they own. Uh, so if we make a copy for each student, that will fix that. Now, if you're using originality reports, those do not work offline. Uh, so if you're doing this kind of assignment for an e-learning lesson, I would not suggest doing originality reports. You can check the box, but don't count on it working if the internet is not working for the student. Uh, as always, you can add a topic, you can add a due date. Uh, it's just like any other assignment in Google Classroom. So then we'll assign the lesson. And I can click on the lesson, and as a so, and it's there. So as a student, the student will need to do a couple of things. The first thing the student needs to do is go into their Google Drive, not their Google Classroom, their Google Drive, and click on the gear up here in the top where it says Settings, and then go to Settings. Once they're in Settings, the fourth option down is Offline. So we want to check that box. This is not a box that we can check in the admin. Uh, the district can't set this for people. This is an individual person's option. So the students have to go in there and check that box. If they don't, they can't work offline. So make sure that your students have that box checked. And make sure that, and tell them not to uncheck it either. Um, I'm going to uncheck it real quick just because I don't need it on on my computer. But they need to check the box and then click Done. So now their Chromebook will sync their Google Drive so that they can work offline on anything that's in their Google Drive and it will continually do that. Anytime they open a document from that point forward on their Chromebook, it will then sync to the Chromebook and they will be able to use it offline. Now we're back in our assignment. So the students will need to go into the assignment that we assigned and then click on the document that is now their copy. So if you've seen that before, it will add the student's name to the title of the document. Uh, that way the student knows it's theirs and when they turn it into Google Classroom you know who the student is as well. So in this assignment once they've opened it it will sync to their Chromebook but there's two links in here. One's for a video and one's for a PDF of Dr. Martin Luther King's speech. So we need to make sure that they can download the video and they download the PDF because those do not sync offline. Only Google Docs applications will sync offline uh, automatically. So for the video, I'm going to click on the video link and I'm going to open it. Now, make sure that you're doing this in your class uh, while the students have internet in order to be able to pull it up. Now, if I have internet, I can click play. I can stream the video right here from the internet. It's not a problem. But if I go home and I don't have internet because of a storm or whatever other reason, I will need to have it available offline. So this is where the download comes from or comes in handy. So if we click the download button, it'll take a second, and now we see that it has downloaded this video so I can watch it offline. Where it stores it, this will store it in the student's My Files document, so when a, or, um, app. So when the student's on their Chromebook, they open up the Chromebook, even if it's offline, and they go to their apps, one of them says it's a blue button with a, a white like file folder in it, but it says my files um, or files. They will have this video in there if they've downloaded it. Once it's in there, they can watch it offline. It's completely offline at that point. The same goes for the PDFs. So this is a PDF of the speech. 
So I can click on here, and right here, I'm still using the internet because I have not downloaded this to my device. So I can read this speech online, but if I don't have internet, I will need to do the same thing as the video and download it. So download it at school, it comes down, it's going to be in the, the files app on the Chromebook. Now they can read the file, they can watch the video, and then back in the assignment, they can actually start typing in this assignment even if they're offline. Google Docs works offline, like I said. So they can answer or work on this writing prompt based off of the PDF that they've downloaded and the video they've downloaded, and now they can actually write on this. Once they're done with their assignment, even if it's done completely offline, when they get back to school and get back on the internet, or when the internet comes back on at home, all of this information will sync to the cloud. It'll be in their Google Drive. They can turn it into Google Classroom, and it'll be just like if they had the internet to access all of this information. Um, I hope that was a good refresher if you already knew it. I hope that was good information if you had questions. Uh, feel free to share this video with students, with parents, with your colleagues, other teachers, your administration, anybody who might need to know how to use a Chromebook offline, uh, feel free to give them a link to this video. Thank you very much.